Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, as you know, it's Scandinavia. So we're still in a bit of a stalemate at the moment. Basically training these guys up to um put to full strength and then we're gonna send them abroad to try and help in probably try and push up toward towards um France. Elsewhere we have a we have a complete the Allies have complete control of Africa. Most of the Middle East pushing into Iran, and it's it's going slowly because supply in this area is awful, but it's getting there. Soviets are have been pushed back to Leningrad, been pushed back to um, Dnipro. Right, I corrections on the Avery. Welcome because I have to pronounce it. You should. Yeah, the, anyway, the Soviets have been pushed back a bit, though. But it's going quite slowly for the Germans. And they have to have a lot of troops down here to contain us. That's where a lot of, up, a lot of upgrades. Building a new navy, but the last two heavy cruisers got wiped out, so... I've basically decided to designate a navy that will be based over here in Iceland, and that'll be used to train them up. And there's going to be a lot, a lot of sitting around twiddling my thumb waiting for things to happen. I might just pause the recording and get something happen. Oh, and I'm also adding this um, Trans-Scandinavian Railway because I have nothing else to really spend to do at the moment. And there's probably a few things I could add, but... Maybe I'll go into... Hmm, free trade wouldn't be a bad. It does mean more um, civilian and navy intelligence else, but it might be worth actually doing. Because the dockyard outpush, factory outpush, research speed, construction, those are all. That I haven't looked at. There's nothing here that's really useful to me. The error reduction, error. Air adoption reductions aren't that useful. Oh, well, this might give us a hmm. bonus for guided missiles. I haven't looked at rockets. Or I could just go with extra support theory because that's boring but practical. Oh, what the hell? Maybe it doesn't really matter. Yes. Yeah, and adding that um, trans Scandinavian railway means I now have a, a rail railway here across the. Um, what is the name of this straight? I can't remember. Means. I have to put those. I have to flesh out those and put them right at the top. Between Copenhagen, Helsingborg, and Helsingborg, and Malmo. Those are going to be important because now we've got supplies coming through here instead of having to use. Well, we still need these um, supply transports, but we'll need less of them. We can move them elsewhere. Yeah, what, what, what this do? We use armored cars. They're useful, though. Hmm. So what this focus does is make armored cars even better. Better their movement in um an attack in forest, desert, and use armored cars. This I'm not gonna there. This will just. Give me a, a research bonus for extra airframes as well, so I may as well. Actually, I might just go with this because we get a new fighter variant based up with jet engines. Now we're kind of ahead of the curve there, but. I realized I haven't assigned any policies to half of these. So. 
again, I'm just going to go with vertical integration because it means we get more of them out quicker. Most of the stuff we need is stuff I'm not exactly short of. Steel, aluminium, that sort of thing. Lab isn't quite there. That's right, couldn't I do anything here? Hey, extra armor might be best because that's pretty much what I'm using my tanks for putting as much much armor on the infantry as I can get away with oh yeah that is very very heavily armored there's something about the reliability maybe but indeed Ugh, I have over a thousand to upgrade. May not have been a good idea. Oh, another naval invasion of southern Sweden. Who is it this time? The Italians. Again. Like, come on, guys. It's in more than two divisions. Of course, the only reason they're even bothering is we don't have any troops here to safeguard that region. Eh, mildly irritating. To be honest, I think I've got these guys about as as I can. Now go on. Get out of here, Italy. See, oh, another race pilot. Finally, a nice plan for one of our bombers. We're not doing all that well against out here, but right now, we see. Are you going to sort off? The reason they keep doing this is we don't have naval supremacy of this area anymore. And we just can't. Unless they just start adding subs here. Which they're probably going to get absolutely wiped because... Jealousies and fjords, and they are not good in this terrain. I'm trying to wonder if maybe I should another push south. Uh, the 25th, 27th, have been Palmo liberating our people from Italian oppression. Extra attack, I think. I think this part has stabilized a little bit. It's a fair bit of book. Anything I can do to help this area? Not really. Except maybe. There's a little here in Yugoslavia. Invasion of Nice or here into Spezia. They have no, almost no entrenchment.
Should be time to start pushing again. These guys are the kind of spearhead. I would prefer if these are, these fighters were trained up a bit more, but. We kind of need to go. Put these tactical bombers on. Close air support for all this reaction force, though it really isn't. Supposedly risky because we have um large river crossing. Large river crossing for Sweden. position and superior enemy. Hmm. Let's see. There's we scored. Nearly enough command parts. So I think we could. Oh, we actually do need our attach. That's finding some extra force. force. Our war support is not as high. Bearing. I think we're about as ready as we're going to be, so the second attempt. And those are some decent amount of green bubbles, red ones. And for as much of their logistics and Apple as we for tech is fella. I want for here. Suppressive barrage, I think. Yeah, that sounds like he's saying that this is bullshit. I probably said that before, but I still find it interesting. Yeah, Denmark is having a hard time pushing. Basically, the terrain just isn't great. There's a massive river to get over. The very river that we tucked behind after our last push. So I'm going to have them hold, hold position for now. So it could use um makeshift bridges as well to try and help with See if it works. We won't, but I... it's worth trying at least. Oh! Looks like it might actually have worked. Oh, well, we've started. We pushed out as Stettin, so that's that's some um, Polish terrain we're retaking. Of course, supplies are going to be an issue, but We might actually be doing better this time. We are losing a lot of um infantry equipment doing this. 
scale back some of our aircraft be able to maybe a couple of factories as we go back into that especially for all these garrisons I forgot to pause the recording while I stepped away to make myself a coffee. Not my best decision, that. We're start. We're pushing. I think we might have actually taken Berlin almost. Yep. Looks like we're pushing. I'm out of Berlin. Another ace pilot. We haven't found Maniacal Mustache Man yet, but. Hmm. 
Ooh, this is weird. Haven't seen this one before. Recent report from our aeronautical research laboratory arrived this morning in the government's office. The report states that the current bureaucratic apparatus heavily limits any potential modernization by forcing us to analyze threat reports instead of doing proper tests. The director insists that the technologies for the improvements of our planes exist and should be considered as soon as possible. Not sure what that actually brings me, but... Hmm. Support isn't great, but we do about that. Of course, the bomb night bomber. It's not like we have any use that XP. Oh. Investment returns, boo. I think the reason we didn't work out. Didn't manage to push last time is we got bogged down and we didn't have enough troops to, for the push. Neither of those seem to be a major problem now. Though I am getting worried about this, um, a little worried about this level of, of course here. I can't remember what the name of the river that goes through it, Danzig, or is. So, do I use the execution? That's a fair chunk of their, um, it's gone. And the 1st Army Division took part in the occupation of Berlin. This, they are, they are awarded the Order of the Vasa. 10% division attack, infantry gaining experience 50% faster from training and from combat, Air infantry division, sense. The uh, place this would. And it looks like we actually have air superiority now. Well, now also Rouge's Rouge is has been promoted again. For supplies, because supply consumption, absolute tab. Okay. Yeah, we got further than we did last time. I think it might be time to hold the advance while I figure out what we're doing next. Because this... Oh, they actually have a group left, a division left behind here. Go get Wilhelm's happen back for us, will you? Make sure they can't um, send ships out of there. Yeah, they're starting to push us back. That's great. Oh, Mustache Man, why did you not build railways for us?
Okay, we're pushing into the Netherlands. Not gonna be quick, but we can get there. Ooh, we lost a lot of planes and a couple of... What's left of there, please? I'm not sure how to do it, but gosh. Their war support has, has dropped quite a bit. They still have a lot of, of capital ships. Four battle, two battle cruisers, four battleships, cruisers, quite a lot of destroyers and a lot of subs. Yeah, they have way more planes than we do. Yep, they're losing bombers. Stockpile trucks are dwindling as well. Gosh. Actually, help. And it looks like we've actually got rid of a lot of their trains, if I've understood this correctly. Ah. Seven caught up. So. They still have a lot of trucks and trains. Farms are going down. Convoys. These. Had less than they than I expect, but. I think I might just convert all these garrisons over to um. Infantry divisions. Right, we do not have enough equipment or or it's short. Yikes. Okay then. America, do you have enough guns we can borrow? I think we're okay for stability and power. Just say this crap. Okay, so the Yanks are sending us a once off lease of, of 11,000 infantry equipment, which should cover most of our. There. Scale back. Still have way more than the factories. Hmm. Artillery specialist. Like air support. Oh, I already have it. Artillery guy. Oh, it looks like the Soviets have managed to take back Minsk. I wonder if they got to Kiev or not. Definitely. Looks like this part is at least. I think a lot of doing this, but I can't manage. Point five percent in defenders' face. For how much is that? And still old, but oh, right. Iran has almost fallen. Real in real life, that that lasts about six weeks, six months for us. Whenever it did. Well, I've got about a little over half an hour. I think that's probably enough for now. So we've started pu we've started pushing back into Germany. That's have stalled, but we've got further than we did last time. Just having more troops to throw at things. 
okay so i'm gonna see you i'm gonna end it here i'll see you in the next one if you like this please leave a comment on what i should do next for now